Hello, this is Randy with R Squared Renovations. I'm a general contractor in Dallas, Texas. Uh, we're finishing off a small bathroom remodel. Uh, right now, I'm going to show you how to install a faucet and do a vanity top while we have it off of the vanity. This is the easiest time to do it. This is a one hole faucet. This also comes with a, a bottom plate. If you were to have a vanity top that had three holes on four inch centers, you could put this on there to cover the holes and still use this faucet. Uh, this faucet has the, the pop up drain mounted in the back here. Slide that down in the hole. Uh, because it's a little bit hard to see, I'm going to show you here before we install it. This has two threaded rods that will thread up inside this, the bottom of the faucet here. We have a rubber washer and then a brass washer. We'll put this in the hole and then these rod couplings. This will slide up in here and then we tighten these long nuts or rod couplings back underneath there and that will clamp the faucet in here to hold it tight on the top of the vanity. While we got it here off, we're also going to install the, the pop-up drain that goes inside. The pop-up drain will go together similar to the faucet. This has a metal flange that just threads in here. We can take this part, set it aside for right now. This has a thick rubber washer here and then a, like a dull run washer. And this nut here that tightens this to the bottom of the sink. What we'll do <coughs> is we'll take a little bit of plumber's putty and put it around here. And we're going to set that in the sink here. Center it, and then from underneath, we'll thread this back on until so that's tight. So this part is tight. And then with the channel locks, we'll go underneath and we'll tighten this nut just so that this gasket will seal the bottom of the sink. This particular sink has an overflow up here, which inside this bowl comes out down in here. That's why this is made the way it is. There's actually a void in between this part of the sink and the bottom, so if you overflow the bowl, it goes down in this hole, ends up back in the drain where it's supposed to go. Now that I got this fully assembled, you can see what it's supposed to look like. Uh, again, here's the rubber washer that we've tightened down up against the bottom of the sink, pulls the top of the sink in, um, with the top of the drain down to the sink. This is the pop-up mechanism. There's a, a ball inside here with a, another washer. You just snug that up. That operates the pop-up drain. And it's adjustable here. According to how much movement you have under here and how high up you want it to go up and down. This when that here attaches to the pop-up on the back side of the faucet. and That's essentially how that works. Here's the, this particular one, the pop-up mechanisms back here behind it. Essentially that's it. Now it's ready to be set on top of the vanity. Um, again, on this particular vanity top, it has a couple of holes in the back of the porcelain here so we can fasten this to the wall. Normally we'd be using toggle bolts into the sheetrock. Uh, here we put some blocking in the wall beforehand, so we'll be running some screws with some big washers on there. Again, not real tight, just to hold this firm against the wall. Uh, kind of normally a vanity top would be fastened down to the top of the vanity. Here we're. Fastened